What's going on, good people? This is Matt Kowal from Sports Memo and Wager Talk. Hope everyone is having a great Friday because we got an 11 game NBA slate we're going to be breaking down today, specifically looking at the Houston Rockets traveling on the road to face off against the LA Clippers. Right now, there's a minus eight spread for the LA Clippers, a 218 and a half total to go with it. And as for the handle, 59% is currently on the Clippers and 41% going to that of the Houston Rockets. And we're going to break this down in just one second. But before I do, we have an awesome promotion going on over at Sports Memo and Wager Talk. And this only goes till the 19th. So you want to take advantage of it sooner rather than later. Okay. And that code is all 30. And code all 30 at Sports Memo and Wager Talk is going to get you $50 off any 30 day all access pass or any sports specific pass, which for someone like myself is great. I do the NBA and NFL primarily, one of the top in the NFL, one of the top in the NBA. Right now in the NBA, I'm 32, 24, and one on the season, up 15 units. And, you know, I pick some plays every single day over at Sports Memo. If you want to check those out, follow me on Twitter, MoneylineMat8. I let everyone know when my picks are available. And I also give free picks and plays i do same game parlays we had a 37 to 1 same game parlay uh last sunday in the nfl it was really high perfect timing for thanksgiving and, and christmas everything like that so we want to keep these winning ways alive guys but with that being said let's get right into this again that is code all 30 take advantage of that but let's get right into this houston rockets traveling on the road against the la clippers and i was intrigued with this matchup because we got two teams on opposing pass right now. You know, this is not the Rockets team of old. They have Fred Van Fleet now. They have Dylan Brooks, you know, Jalen Green another year, Jabari Smith, Alperun Sangoon. They're a solid squad, new coach, you know, and they've won six games in a row, most recently against the Denver Nuggets. Now they're traveling on the road to go against the Clippers. And I know this minus eight spread is big, but I'm actually with the Clippers here. And, you know, it's a lot of it has to do with their six game losing streak. A lot of this is expected, I'll be honest, because you're adding all of these top tier talents to one roster, to one starting line of Westbrook, Harden, Paul George, Kawhi, Avicio Zubac. You know, it's a lot to put into one team and to get it to gel very, very quickly. You know, you take a look at even the old Miami Heat team with LeBron, D. Wade, Chris Bosh. That team, first 10 games together, they actually had a losing record because it takes some time to get the, those top tier talents to gel as one. But it's put up or shut up time for this Clippers team. People are talking about the playoffs. People are talking about the in-season tournament. This team's got to win some games. You know, they've lost six games in a row. They're three and seven. They're coming home. And I think the guy who is going to lead them there is actually going to be Kawhi Leonard tonight. You know, I have a DFS background, so I love talking about props, stuff like that as well. You're going to get spread bets, totals, player props, a little bit of everything from me. But Kawhi tonight, over 21 and a half. I think it's a great spot. He's missed this number two games in a row, shooting 37% from the field typically shoots 44 percent from the field so you're going to get that natural uptick probably hopefully you know and it's a great spot for him as well you know Kawhi Leonard is going to be matched up with Jabari Smith here and although Jabari has that height advantage he is not as quick as Kawhi he can't move as well as him and even if they have to go to a zone because of the mismatches Kawhi's got that great mid-range and that's where you kill those zones and that's also why I like the Clippers too I think this game could turn to a zone for the Rockets because of the mismatches on man-to-man coverage and then you take a look at it you got James Harden float game Paul George float game Kawhi Leonard mid-range they got top tier guys who are very good in the mid-range and that's the zone killer and that's why I really do like this Clippers team here I actually think this is going to be a flat line spot for the Rockets so I like the under 218 as well these are totally two teams that are very slow in terms of pace. So I do think it's going to be a slow grinded out style game. And I give that advantage to that of the Clippers here. I think they have the better defenders, you know, Paul George against Jalen green. That's a tough matchup. Russell Westbrook, Fred Van Fleet, you know, and then you're going to have to rely on guys like Dylan Brooks, Jabari Smith, Al Prune Sangum. I give, I, I side with the Clippers here. I really do like this minus eight. I think this is going to be an official play for me as well. I definitely will have that Kawhi Leonard over 21 and a half official play. And one last thing I want to mention it is a James Harden revenge game. James Harden did get it going last game. He started scoring once again. He was facil- facilitating, getting a little more comfortable. Definitely something to take a look at. You know, James Harden always loves playing his old teams. He always loves going after those old squads. And the Rockets did pass on him. You know, he did say he wanted to go back to Houston. Didn't end up going back to Houston. So definitely a spot to look at. I might add that to the card later. But for right now, I'm the Clippers minus eight, and I'm Kawhi Leonard over 21 and a half. This is Matt Kowals from Sports Memo and Wager Talk. Check me out at Moneyline Matt 8 on Twitter. Greatly appreciate it, guys. I am out. Good luck today, everyone.